I'm striped again. <laughs> Welcome. We are live and we have a special guest with us tonight. Hello. Yeah, Grandpa? No. Oh. <laughs> Hank. So, grandson Hank. And he hasn't been on with us for a while. So this will be very fun. And we have a lot to cover tonight because we have 60 cards. What, 90? I just 90. told him we had 50 I am cards. the one who remembers. And he calls this. grandma, it's 90. <laughs> she even wrote the title as 59. I'm like, it's 90. <laughs> I know. So thanks, guys. I got to go back and change that. I um, uh, For those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know that I had my first kayaking experience yesterday. This is my, see, I have a t shirt to, to uh, paddle to, to the moon and back. And, back. Um, and it was for a fundraiser for suicide awareness. And um, I went with my friend Sue. <laughs> And go, first we went over to a restaurant and it was a 45 minute paddle and it was started off just sprinkling and then it rained quite heavily. We were soaking wet and freezing cold when we got there. It was so cold, but we laughed the whole way, had our a little dinner and then we were to paddle back and on the way back, it starts pouring rain. It's dark. So we've got the lights on, but the waves are so high, they're just washing over. She can't see a thing and the blinding rain. And it was a silent trip back. Took two hours, just have to tell you, it was silent. We were working way too hard to talk. And then we had some lightning, so we had to go up to shore and wait that out. At least you got but a lot of exercise. Got a lot of exercise, a little sore today, and we made it back. They were, We were, my friend Sue and I were the last two out of the 60 paddlers. And they said they were a little concerned when we were getting in, so Jim, who organized this and is also my friend Sue's brother. That's why we were up there. Said, oh, it's really good. You're an experienced paddler. We were just starting to get worried. And I laughed and said, you didn't realize I've never been in a, I've never been in a kayak before. So some of us just kind of, you know, I had invited, we had invited Tim to go along, but no, he didn't even go. He no. stayed home. Okay. <laughs> and then an hour afterwards, we were all packed up and ready to come home. Everything settled down. The the beautiful moon was out. The lake was just placid. And I thought, this is what they had in mind. Um, and <laughs> we were going home. And what we really wanted was a hot drink, cocoa, tea, anything. And it was 11.04 when we okay. pulled into the first gas station. And they were closed. A sign on the door. We don't have enough help. We close at 11 now. And we had to drive an hour and a half before there was anything even open. <laughs> oh, okay. Someone asked you, Grandma. Someone asked you. <laughs> um, in the comments, it's not there anymore, but someone asked you today, today, if you're stiff and sore. <laughs> well, let's just say he was, uh, they were laughing at me because I was sitting on the floor opening these cards and Tim says, oh, Karen, you can't hardly get up. Cause I pride myself. You guys know I'm getting <laughs> up and off the floor. Mm, yeah. I'd say I'm a little sore. Uh, I appreciate the comments. It, you know, so many families are just so touched with suicide. So it is an awesome card. And yeah, my heart's go out to all of you who are sharing that. And I just think that's gotta be one of the hardest hardest things to go through. Yeah. So um, anyway, it was a wonderful adventure and it just feels good that we actually made it, made it through. We actually, I will just say there was this one halfway back. Tim just had a fit when I said no to this, but we were asked if we wanted to hook up tow ropes to the pontoon that was going along for safety and they would have taken us back. <laughs> but we said, no, we're so deep into this. We can't give up now. So we kept on <laughs> yes, waiting. Yes, you could have given up. <laughs> So anyway, it was great fun. But I had to share one comment that came through from Marlene Grout. She said, well, brave lady, I see your adventures aren't limited to your back porch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we still like to find a little adventure. But since we have 60 or 59 or somewhere in their cards, we had best be going. 90 the only, cards. Uh, oh, 90. <laughs> oh, grandma. <laughs> To put that on. Are, are you stiff and sore, and then your brain's also <laughs> stiff and sore? And those blinds, you see, we we have these stripes coming through every now and then. We couldn't get rid of those either. So it's I'm just zebra. it's comedy hour. But here we are. We're so fun it to be here. Hour. This is the host code, and we're the using tonight. We're using the sentence from Kim Crane: "Keep three days empty cards, y'all." Boom. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, can Karen keep three days empty? I like that song. Three days empty of what? Exercise? It says, hi, Hank from Bennett's grandma. Kathy Oz. That's, that's Bennett. You know Bennett. So her grandma's on here. Hi, so Bennett. I said, that's so fun. Uh, and the other thing Hank's been doing when he's been over here, we've been spending some time lately, and he's been teaching me how to edit 
TikTok and Instagram videos because I just can't figure things out. I watch YouTube videos and he just, you know, he's never done it, but he just sits and figures it out and shows me what to do. So we made a couple of videos with that today too. So it's been fun. Mm -hmm. And his dad, who happens to be our son, couldn't believe that grandma was on TikTok. <laughs> It's pretty funny. And if any I of you, I was on TikTok. And if <laughs> any of you are on TikTok, please follow me. I have to put up a thing. But I, you know, I'm doing this as an Stampy experiment. On the back porch is her TikTok. Yep, yep. And and you know, it's just for fun. And we're just seeing. So we did one together on there uh, with the shaving cream technique. So a, yeah. a 60 second TikTok. No, it was like 29 minutes. It was 28 or something. seconds. 28 seconds. seconds. So Hank, it started yeah. out at 60, but he edited it down. So anyway. No, that I've got, it was always 28 percent. I've got plans for him for all this editing. So so it's gonna be fun. So what we decided to do tonight, Hank picked two of the is of my favorite stacks. Two uh, yes, two of the stacks. So two of the stamp sets. So he's gonna do one with me, and then Tim is gonna do some in between, and then Hank is gonna come back for the other. Show show what you made for your mom. Oh yes. So this is what he made on so TikTok is, today. So this is the shaving cream technique. And who's the card for? Uh, my mom, her birthday's up soon, so. Yeah, it'll be next week, so he's got his card ready. So that is pretty awesome. And then we've just been playing around with all this kind of tech stuff. So uh, what I thought tonight would be fun to do, and that's going to be the one to show at the end, was to share cards from just celebration, because that is just this month and next. So we're going to go through them quite quickly, but I said we'll just make little comments. But I think this is an adorable card from Sandy Miller. And I just, uh, I like how, oh, I like how this flap also at the bottom. My 12 weeks of Christmas coming out tomorrow at 10, if you're watching my things, is very similar to this. But, it, you know, you know how things are similar but different? So pay attention to that. But isn't that a cool layout? This penguin, even though they can withstand cold, is wearing a scarf and a hat. My mom wears <laughs> scarves even in like tw like 40 degree weather. So. She loves being cozy with her scarves, doesn't she? <laughs> and this is Donella Henderson. I think that is just adorable with the balloon and on the floor there, little birthday it, wishes. It, it might be going to a party because like penguins kind of look like tuxedos and it's got a little bow tie. Yes, very classy. And this is Lori Hiling. And there he's going sledding all, all by himself because he doesn't need a sled, you know. So yeah. <laughs> so, he's so. going He's going tummy sledding. There we go. A belly, belly whatever. And this is Lynn Fellkamp and just the paper. So isn't that cool? Because that's that same mm -hmm. penguin that has a punch that punches that out. Mm -hmm. But then just a die cut around it. Mary, everything. Just a simple but stunning card. Mm -hmm. Wait, this one and has this, this one is this one has the same from stomach. Carrie Todd. Yeah, this stomach. But in a whole different arrangement. But yeah, that yeah. same. I and mean, look, at he's losing his cap. Yeah, his hat's <laughs> falling off. Or, or they just weren't perfectly you, perfect. I'll see that up so they can see yep. that. So I'll see what's inside there. And that's cool how those stick out. And then this yeah. is where you would write. It's like the, it's like what it's like the card's arms. Yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, that's really cool. And you'd have plenty of space to write there, or you could use um, just a small space. Marsha Miller, and this has two of the tag punches, which is also oh, just yeah. really cool. That, I think I've used these in a card before. Yeah, and that is really cool. And I always got the balloon going over there, so I always notice the layouts. And do you see the brick wall behind there too? That's pretty cool. We'll see if I can break the brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you would think about. And then we have Laura Mulligan. Looks like a baby penguin, kind of. You know what's cute? This is a stamp. You see, she, see how she Whoa. stamped the snow? But the snow part, she's left plain. You know, I often just think of covering the whole thing. with. I love how she did, like, the snow up there. To make and then he's sitting on the snowy hill. Yeah. I'm like you. <laughs> yes, exactly. And he's holding a gift, going to go to a party. Oh, this is a fun one for Marsha Gay. This is a fun one. How does this one open? Um, I was thinking about make it, making this my favorite from this stack. Yeah, he's looking at this. I love this little whimsy die in there. But what did you say when you picked up this card? Uh, it looked. Oh. <laughs> it kind of looks like the polar bear is pooping at the work. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, once you've heard that, you can't unhear it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Words of a nine year old. <laughs> yes, I said that. that's all pretty good. And this is Diana Gibbs. <laughs> and this so, is a Z focal. So, so it, it's like the penguin is above the fox. The fox is looking at him because he's attached to a snowflake. And the fox. Yeah, that cool snowflake. And the fox is wishing he was attached to that same snowflake. Yeah, you took my place. I want that spot. <laughs> 
And that's just another fun pull card. It opens like that, which is really fun. And then soon the penguin will drop. The fox will get on the snowflake and it's going to go, whoo, and then go back down. <laughs> so the celebration part of this is just the paper. It's the penguin playmates. Look at all these little things that you can make. And then um, some of these also have the punch. Like this uses the punch. But since it, oh, look how cute this is. And look at his feet just sticking up, popped up there. It's like, hello, yeah. my feet are my hands. Yes. And they're popped up. It's really sticking out front. So that's pretty cool. This is by Heather Guerrero, I think. Yep. This one is the actual punch out of the die. So this, and this is by Karen Bochicas. Do you see how that's that paper that's just punched out? And the penguin's also going, hello. Yep. And season's greeting. And you know, a card like this, it, that could say birthday. That could say anything. So, yeah. you know. Oh, here's that little fox again that we looked at. And this is Judy and Anderson. Fin and he finally got down from the snowflake and it's summer now. <laughs> and he's either summer. bringing a present or he gets a present. Yeah. So with what fifty nine cards, we're really gonna move through these quickly. Uh, was it fifty nine, Hank? Ninety. <laughs> Ninety. <laughs> were, were you being facetious, or were you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I don't know that. Maybe he's getting forgetful, like but I am. But I'm you know, just saying we can slow down if you want. Michelle Hornbeck. And this one is the die again. But look at that cute paper. That is just. It's also saying hello to us with his feet because it doesn't have hands, and that's the closest thing it has to hands. And what kind of card is this? It's not a birthday and it's not a Christmas. It's a thank you card. A thank you. So you can use these for anything, which I think is so fun. It could be a so Thanksgiving fun. card. Yes, you could do that. It's a Christmas themed. You could do that. Card. And then we have Heather Guerrero again. Do you remember we just saw one with the snowflake? And look what they did with the snowflake on this one. You and now it? the penguin. Oh, wait, this is before we saw the penguin on the snowflake. You mm -hmm. have to get on the snowflake. Yes. <laughs> and here, I think it looks like he's sitting on a windowsill and then looking out I'm or something in the sky. Story with these cards. <laughs> yes, that would be perfect. But I, I think that's really so a fun arrangement be, there. The, the new title could be Card Story Time with Hank. <laughs> that's right. And this one is Rebecca Smith. I love you, a lot. Yeah, isn't that funny? So it could be a whole nother just kind of thinking of you, I love you kind okay, of card. Okay, so it's, it goes from whatever, we'll just say this is spring, to summer. And and the skips fall goes straight to winter. Yeah. Is that latle or latte? Latle. What is latte? Instead of little. I like oh, you a latte. Oh, and I just was going to point out too, do you see how these I are just it. three rectangles of paper? Isn't that an awesome okay. layout? Makes a great background on a card. Okay, now we uh, now we this is a polar bear card. Let's see who this one is. Laura Milligan. Oh, and he's got the hat on his head too. He's, <laughs> that, that wait, hat. he's flying to the moon. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. Um, he could have been a paddle to the moon or something. Oh, he, he, he <laughs> could have been paddling yes. to the moon, and then he was super tired. <laughs> yes. And then look how they put these words. So that's just a strip of ribbon under there. It's not tied. It's not wrapped around. It's just a pretty strip of ribbon. Next, we have Robin Scherzer. That, you know, Penguin was the number one thing out of this paper, I do believe. Where's the name? On the back? Mm, this, one, this one's attached to the back. Okay. Well, and look that? at how cool that the hills. Yeah, they did a double hill instead of just a single hill. And even notice how it's like, you know, kind of like a hill would look. Do you see how they put a little bit of color on there? Mm -hmm. So it's like shading, like little but, shadows or, or dirty snow or something, you know? To Robin Scherzer's, what you could have done is you could have made like a penguin sledding down here in front. And like, so it's like the. Wait, so it'd be a whole wait, playground. Wait, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. So you could have a penguin sledding down here, but then you'd, but then you'd have the presence on his back. So that that would be so that would be so fun. He, so he was a present delivery penguin. <laughs> That's what you could do. So are those flowers floating through the air? Are they? they They're snowflakes. Snowflakes. And this one is a no-name one, and it's okay. You know, the penguins really win hands down, don't they? I mean, I was, you know, I didn't count that, but I said, oh my goodness, they're mostly well, penguin is a, cards. This is a nice card. Who no name? Mm -hmm. It is a very nice card, and I just love the little backgrounds hey, that they did. This is your chance to pretend you made that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made this. I made yeah, this. Right. I made this. <laughs> and <laughs> here, now we have best friends. There's Here's BFFs. This is a card yeah, for your BFF. BFF. Okay, so who made this one? It's 
<laughs> this paper, you know, if you already have it, you can There's already no have name. more. I said that this an, is a no name. Okay. It's an. Well, okay. I, I actually made this one. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot to put my name in. <laughs> and notice a little blending brush technique on the white mm -hmm. snow there. So we just have a little soft little green, but they're real so cute together and then the little tree. They're holding hands, but the penguin's holding his paw. Oh, you know what? This must've gone with that. Alejandra Gomez, that's who made that card. And then this card is Sandy Miller. Ooh, and I just see how this one this opens? opens. This is very cool. And then how does it close cool. up? Close it up again and then or open it. Or if you it. want it to be different, you could do this. Yep. Okay. And look at all these fun papers that are from this pack. I think they're just so cute. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight papers. And then which card did you pick for your favorite out of this? My favorite. Here's the back of it. Oh, and the polar bear. So not the back of the polar bear. I, I love that. That is Peggy Merwin. And on the Just Jade, I like that. What does it say? To the coolest friend ever. Yeah, that is so perfect. I'm just perfect with the bear like that and to open and those fun things. So great card. All right, we're gonna get Tim in here for a bit. Bye. Thank you, Hank. I'll be behind the camera. <laughs> Yep, you'll be behind the camera. And now we're going to move through. At the end, I'll put it back up on her face. Okay. We'll just keep moving through here. Now we're going to do some reindeer cards. Oh, I guess I, I will read the names for you. Oh, thank you. This is Robin Ryan. Love those two colors. Isn't that pretty together? Yeah, We've got the little deer. The and and that's Rudolph. Oh, it is Rudolph. A red nose. Oh, and here's another Rudolph, Rudolph the red nose. And this a is Heather of, Guerrero. A lot of them are Rudolph. So look at this one. This one is two. And this is the yeah. strip card with the three strips. Oh, let's do all the reindeer while we're while we're looking here. As long and, oh, and here's some more. We have two Rudolphs here. Could we have two Rudolphs? Yeah. I and this so. is Rudolph the red nose reindeer just duplicated himself. That's all. That's yeah, all or it could did. be looking in a mirror. Could be whatever. But just see. And this is that new free paper from Celebration. And look how they've done the trees and then some snowflakes. It wears. And this is Robin Scherzer. You hear Where some of the same mirror? names. Where's the mirror? Oh, it's imaginary. <laughs> Everything we do is imaginary. Oh, and how about this one? A black glitter. Can I just say that oh, that's cool. very, a lot of texture to that. Yeah, that's very cool. And then this is black glitter paper. And look at all these different things. And the deer is a punch, so it's pretty awesome. The paper is what's in celebration. The reindeer and the punch, the stamp set are in the catalog. But I thought that, but that is real cool with the red and black. And the antlers are fussy cut. No, no they're right. not. Part of the punch. And that is Lori Krause. Very nice. I like the red. It's really not a Christmas plant, but it, it really. Yeah, it could, it it really could be fits. an anything. I think it's just, I think it makes a great masculine card for anything yep. too. It's just a cool. Now, if you notice this, see, this is the same, but yeah. it's another paper in the pack and you can actually punch Ooh. the deer out with it. So we have the white outline. It's from that paper. You can see that paper yep. up there. Look at the background. That's so pretty. And then a tree. Yeah, that is cool. Very cool. And the little strip of trees paper and then some trees. Yeah, that's really like a that. stunning card. Did I mention a name on that? Yes, Virginia Kilmore. I should have picked comments. Now you're having second thoughts about. <laughs> I know you just all like you, these, but you want to. All of these could be. You guys, these favorite. are amazing can, cards. Can we can we quote Hank? Read the polar bear. <laughs> you're the polar. Bear. I am. Um, wanted to also say that, you know, the card swaps like this is really one of my favorite parts about being a demonstrator. So you know, always talk to me if you're interested in that. But look, oh, and look how cute this is. Both of these are punched out. Totally different looks and both stunning cards. Mm -hmm. I love how they did the Merry Christmas right on that red and black paper. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That is just very stunning. And this paper is wonderful. And this is Darla Watson. Also, hello to everyone that's saying hi. There's too many people that to say <laughs> yes. everything. Yeah. Oh, Deanne says the red and black plaid would be a great masculine card for a hunter. Yes, it would. Yeah, it would. It's a great idea. Now, this is the same paper that, we, that was punched out in the other cards. And just notice you don't have to punch out. That's just all part of the card. And that's Lynn Feldkamp. And look what a simple card mm -hmm. that is and just stunning. Mm -hmm. So as nice long as the snow isn't ribbon. yellow. Yes. From the polar bear joke. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, Nine-year-old humor. <laughs> but back to the yeah. glimmery. And that uh, Tim had commented before how much he loves his paper with the trees. I just This is really a beautiful card. 
and that is a no-name card. It's another no-namer. Uh -huh. And then we have, this is from the same paper pack, and there we have that snowflake again, and just a fun little um, word right here. This is Rumi Radomsky. Kids can, figure, Kids can figure anything out. Linda says, yes. Hank pointed at that for me to read. I said, yes. He's going all over the place here looking at the comments, you guys. So I'll come back and respond to comments afterwards. But And then this is one. This is Melissa Thomas. And this is using the tree punch. Um, and isn't that pretty in the red and black? We've had a card from Melissa Thomas before. I'm trying to think of what it was. Yeah, we have a, Wait, we yes, should, we're we're a Melissa name. Thomas card in TikTok. Oh, yes, we did. He picked out a card that we shared. You're right. <laughs> He's going to feel like he gets to know all these people that he hasn't met. So I said, it's just pretty <laughs> I've interesting. Never met and I just know everyone that I have not met. We're going to, the next time we go on the road for a month, we're going to take hands. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Trout. This is the Summer Shadows die. Somebody told me that they're already sold out. They go with this, but I'm showing the cards anyway, if that's true. I don't know. But, you know, we did say, especially the dies, start with the dies first, like the sheep dies too, because once dies are gone, they don't make them more. But I'm still going to show a couple of gorgeous cards Which with these. Above and beyond. Yes. And this is Amy Rich. Look how fun those, just yep. those lovely colors are. What a nice accent to that green. Yep. Because it's yeah. not... I also just love the difference here. If you look at, this is Kathy Seal. Do you yep. see this is the same stamp? Huh. There it's subtle on a background. Here it's cut out and it's black and white, just Jumps stark. Out, just... You would never look at those two cards and think they're made with the same mm -hmm. stamp. And I think that's what makes what we do so fun. And that is such a nice effect that just looks like a yeah. like wallpaper Grandma, look or something. This. Yeah, and actually this is... I love Hank's humor. Okay, he's pointing out the good comments. Give me like <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Um, this is also one of the free papers, and it's grays. It's like black. It's like white and grays instead of black and white. The darkness is very grays. It's, very it's nice. really a soft look. And if you look at this, so we're just going to compare some of these side by side. I think, and this is Karen Braxton. Now these stamps are from the catalog. I was showing them in here because the dies were from celebration but you can still get these parts of it and again same i'm not gonna, same stamp set i'm not gorgeous gonna, i'm not a big fan of green but i do like the green they use for this yeah and see and there's two greens on there so that is cool yeah he's not a fan of green and it's and grandpa's right, favorite color my favorite Re regular top, green top, is my least favorite color fun top fact. Three but colors, I like, I like the, favorite I like colors green. are green and then here we have the same stamp again, embossed in white and on a totally soft. And look how it's just stamped in white in the background. All oh, these are the same, you guys, which is just amazing. Rhonda Bassler. And you know those tags, the cards we looked at? This is in the same set, but they're little tags. You mm -hmm. see how there's three in a row? Hmm. Um, yeah, I see. I just We just keep on going with cards here tonight. Is anyone from Boston because of the Boston white thing? Um, I don't know. We don't know. Is anyone any from Boston? So I said, <laughs> but uh, look at this in the grays and the pink. I think this is gorgeous too. This is Margaret Van Vliet. That's pretty. That's a very gorgeous look. And then here are, we have uh, one more with just the stamp done in the soft monochromatic single color card. Janice Waitman mm -hmm. means one color because mono is like one, like a monocycle or a, that'd be a unicycle, wouldn't it? <laughs> a mono what? What what would it be another word for <laughs> mono? I'm not sure. The mo you know, that monocycle down the street. But this one, Very another nice. gorgeous one, Lisa Schultz. Mm -hmm. And you see that background, those stamps, and then those the are the level. dies. Look at the levels. And here, give me a piece of white paper. Because it, see underneath? Mm -hmm. It just, yeah. And then here's another one, the same. Do you see how we yeah. changed the colors? But just see how striking that is. So that is very fun. Laura Barto. Okay, and then next we're going to Monocle. Yes, I don't know if we know my Monocles. But no, you know those old shows, Hank, where they put one a single thing up to their eye to see through? Yeah. Monocle. That's what's called Mono One because mm -hmm. it's only one. Okay, now we're going to move to, this is Janice Erke. And I. this is the one that's like, home whatever the celebration set is we'll have some really fun ideas here love how she I, did I the think, inside I, think, I don't know anything about really nice. sets but i think the celebration set could be welcome home yes this would be a great welcome home it could be a great if somebody buys <laughs> a new house tulips or, yeah. so, or somebody's coming fun. back from like a long business trip or something yes and this one's colored in but just parts of it and then look at this one it's not colored in except for the green door 
Hmm. So various, and it's stamped in gray to kind of go with that grayish look. And it's, I'm always and forever here for you. This is Mary Ellen Stites. I think that is gorgeous. And then this one is just done in crumb cake, the background. So oh, you like can that. be as fancy as you want or not. Lynn Feldkamp. Got a lot from Lynn. Okay, we're, we're getting there. You know, when we do swaps, we can do several. That's why you're seeing some of the same names. Now next, it, what is the name of the stamp set, you guys, that is in there that's got all the words? The lines, the lines and things. So whatever that one is, someone will bring it up. I'm okay. Gonna this is Ann Clemmer. This is a great masking card. This is the stamp. This is one of the free stamps. I'll just point these out. But look at what a great, easy. This this makes me think of a classic card if you're doing some like for business, mm -hmm. business things for a guy to send yeah. out. I think that's very classy. And the O for of is a some bling. Yeah. And then Barbie Gant. Ganley, Bobby Ganley did this. These are also stamps from there. So you see, it's the shapes that we're working with. And then she put some other fun things on the top. Hello there. And I think this, oh, we just showed those stripes. Here's another one with the stripes. Mm. Another just great masculine looking card. Yeah. And she just made it go with the plaid over here. Pick those colors. This is Stephanie Osgood. Okay, so it's two confessions time. How many of these sets do you guys have yet? And are there more on your list to get? Do you have another month to get them? I love this one. I love how it's just scattered, how we've got the circles in threes and then all that scattered around. That to me is another, just a birthday card for anybody. Look. Holly Sutton, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Look inside. And I love how she did the inside. There you go, Holly. Very cool card. And one more, Hank Ben pointed this one out earlier, how much he liked this. Which is look at the, just adding some colors of circle. Hmm. And sending thanks and putting the little flag on. Does this feel like we're really speeding tonight? And this is Dina Rico. Uh, we are really speeding tonight. We don't usually speed so much, but um, it's just fun to show all these. And then we have a few more of those great papers. I think Natalie Hank, Travis. Hank goes in overdrive. Yeah. Hank went and got a stool because there's no room for him on the bench. So he could be in there <laughs> and see the comments better. He wants to be close to the comments. It's tiring standing up. I love this card. I love how she just added a little bit of the yellow. Didn't color the whole thing in. The gray background is part of the paper. And so is this. So those are two parts of the paper. And we've got the words. And this is also from those papers. And this is the book binding kind of card where it opens like this. Sounds like Hank has some future demonstrator <laughs> skills developing. That and I think some computer skills for editing for me. So that's kind yeah. of what we've been talking about. He'll love when that. Amy Notch. To edit, I'll, I'll edit. <laughs> yeah. So I save some things now when he comes over for him to work with on me. Uh, this is gorgeous too. This is Susan Rutherford. But do you see that same paper again? And let me just show. I love mm. the difference. Do you see how this it's is the same? Cool. And they're both gorgeous. That's just with a little added yellow. It just looks like a different paper again. And I just love how Seriously, she's done this. The very the soft. Thing that's different that's all that's different. Just, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And this yeah. is cool. And they both have this as and, the contrast. I know. But those this complements that paper yep and this you know this yeah. complements what's on here yeah and the little ribbon so you can just pick anything as a little accent but i think that's very cool and then this is also the paper and then this is dies from the catalog by that but isn't that just pretty yeah, yeah tim had pointed out how much he loved this card too okay tim you have your favorite card to show i just love the thickness of that yep and the My card he picked is... out Oh, wait, we're not done. Oh, <laughs> we have one more stamp set to go here. <laughs> there's one more set, guys. And this is the one, before we go back to the one you have, this By is the, way, the you one. You said this would be 30 minutes, and, and it's already at 28 minutes. <laughs> oh, um, and you know what? We get Kick kicked off. off. Uh, if we get kicked off, we'll be back for part two. We're well, going as quickly no, as we can. Like 50 minutes. We have good time. Okay. So I think this is a gorgeous yeah. card. This is the uh, Delicate Dahlias, and I have a bunch of gorgeous cards with this. We're going to do these quickly, though, because uh, sometime we'll look at a few of them. This is Amy Rich. Um, <laughs> we have a new yeah, partner. I think you have a new <laughs> friend. So we're going to go through this quickly and just point out how stunning. These are all gorgeous cards. Angie Leach. We don't need to go. Oh, we do. We we do, Tim, because they there is a time limit on that. But look at these different. Here's the tag again. If just we get kicked off, tags. we'll do another stream. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to keep on going. This is Monica Gilberti. But just look at this show. It's like watching. Can I change uh, the time? Nope, can't change the time. I'm going to. This is like watching a slideshow. 
you know, that's kind of what yeah. we want to look at this. Okay. We've so we see like these. 40, 20 seconds. Leanne Greff. So we got a. That is pretty. And this is beautiful. Stamp right on that in color vellum that's really sparkly. And then we have the sparkle paper too. This is Denise Jurgensen. <laughs> I love red and black and white. Marilyn Isn't that Abby. just stunning? It's a good thing we have grandkids to keep us on. Is that so true? Well, well that's right. This, this set is beautiful. This is a free set with a $100 order. I think this is this just has to be a favorite set. It is so good for anything. And I think that is beautiful. It is a two-step stamp. So like this is a two-step. You have the inside and the outside. Here, you have the inside and the outside stamped separately in the same color. Mm. Yeah. And look what a simple like card that. that is. And it's beautiful. It's just really yeah, fun. Yeah, I like this card. That's Susan Morton. Yeah, that is. It's just it's my favorite card so far from this day. That would be a good technique that we could share. Oh, I also like quickly. this card, which is my favorite card because my favorite color is purple. Yeah, and purple. And isn't that interesting with the gray on it? So thank you kindly. This is Kelly Atchison. And notice how it looks watercolored. That's just a stamp, but it looks yeah. like it's been colored mm. in different colors. And next we have a beautiful sympathy card from Betty Weisbrook. And again, just notice the texture in the cards. It's beautiful. And you know, look at here. You only see little parts of the flower. You don't even see, you don't even see the flower center. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? It'd be cool if they like did the rest of the stamp on the white though. Could That'd do cool. that too. We could have done like a trifle. But you know, it it's just kind of shows the never ending the choices that you can this make. This is kind of looking like out a window. Oh, and that kind of is. Wait, yep. it's like it's like flowers are taking over the world, and you're looking out your window. <laughs> and no, they often say that you can tell a new stamper because everything's centered and everything's complete. When you learn to just kind of go off the edges and not care and get really artistic, this is a Lisa Bowell card. Here's one that is all in the center, but it is gorgeous. This is a beautiful card from Brenda Springer. It is. And look at really that stamped on the crumb cake, and then there's some white on the. It looks very. This looks very vintagey. Are those words or people or what? No, those are words. Are those words are people. Oh, in the background? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he was looking at. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, that is just gorgeous. Here is another gorgeous one. Look how this opens. This is Susie Wood. Mm. And it opens like that. Beautiful, beautiful card. Another one. And notice mm. how this was stamped first and then run through an embossing folder. So you get a really cool look with that. And that is Dina Rico. And then we have a study in bumblebee yellow. Love that. And this was stamped first and then run through the folder. And it's all just a monochromatic cardigan. Lynn Feldkamp. Also, Jan, I start and school in like two-ish weeks. Yes. Yep. He will be. And he's excited because last year you didn't get to go. Mm -hmm. Sandra Reese. And here we have hot pink. Is it this is polished pink? Pink and black and white are also. A gorgeous, kind of like the red and black and white, but I love that. And here we just have it. I just think that's gorgeous. Hank, Hank, thank you kindly. Yes. And here's another thank you kindly with a whole different Mar look. Mar Marilyn says, I'll be 70 in January, and I've never had a desire to get into a kayak, and I've no desire to change <laughs> that now. Good job, Karen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it's a sport to take up when you're 71, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm, pretty, I'm pretty proud that I did it. <laughs> Yes, you know, it was a challenge. Well, I'm glad we were successful and well, didn't need to be, be rescued. That, That's you should be the perfect glad that you're proud. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad we didn't have to be rescued mostly. <laughs> Barb Mulligan, <laughs> another gorgeous card. And one more here. Again, and this is just kind of a filled in background. So you stamp it dark and then you can keep on stamping. And then Tim, this is Cheryl Peary. And Tim, you picked your favorite card. But I have to tell a story this. before that because I just realized that. Tim thinks we have all the time in the world, see? Mm -hmm. Jim, who organized this whole thing and is a friend of ours, he and I went sailing on Lake Calhoun and it tipped over and he was underneath the. the Boat? The, we need something no, to look at. Underneath the. Water. <laughs> underneath the. Canoe? The uh, sail. The okay. sail. Okay. And he could hardly get out. He thought. I thought I was trying to kill him. And so last night, so he that's, was, you took he was it personally. paying back. So, so, yeah, and that's why you didn't want to go. It was that yeah. scary memory. So look how stunning this is. And with those colors. Now, I don't know that I would have stamped that and thought of those colors. And they are stunning they together. Are. So I, that's what I love about card swaps and looking at cards. Could you get these ideas? No. That is Sandra Lowe. Sandra Lowe. Beautiful. And Hank, we're ready for us. Okay. And we... Switch spots with yeah. 
Oh my switch. goodness! And we are doing. It. No, we still we have done. the no sheep. You're trying to be fast. I know. No, he thought we're winding down, and we are not because the sheep are pretty fantastic. Not coming from doing this. I think I know where my next hide and seek spot is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's doing <laughs> hide and seek is still a favorite game around here. Okay, I'm look at that in just the grays. You're amazing. By oh, Lynn Feldkamp. Did I pick our favorite from this? Yours, our favorites are right here. Okay. I'm going to give those to you. Those are going to be after. Okay. So we're going to go through these quickly and just look at the difference. These sheep are so adorable. Linda Bowen. I want to talk about these longer, but we don't have much time. <laughs> no. So you can say something quick. Because quickly. they're all amazing, but I like the, I, it's like a, it's like he's in the sky and it's blue and, and, and then there's grass in the sky all of a sudden. So it's like a magic. Yeah, kind of like Now feel the sheep on this. This is a uh, Marianne mm. Grimmer. Did you feel how that's done with a velvet sheet? I like the I like the barn. It's like it's like a quarantine thing. That's <laughs> yes, it could be a good quarantine card. Okay, and it's time for freedom. He's gonna jump over the fence and leave. Janice, yeah, wait. Finally, and there we go. <laughs> this, is when, this is when he got vaccinated and he's like, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm I'm jumping to the moon. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And this is him after he escaped. It's been like 20 years. He's just... You're amazing. And notice just the little bits of paper going these two different ways. Whoops. We've got to see who that's from. I'm sure. We've got to do some shout outs here. Janet back, J Janie backer. I think I'm really sorry. Oh, here we go. Wait, here we're in the parade. Mm. You're amazing. This is after cloud. COVID ended in two years. <laughs> back. Okay. And then Amy Story. I think these are so cute. These sheep, feel this sheep. Mm -hmm. This this one's all done with little um, glue. Little, uh, yeah, the little glue gel pen. And notice that same gray and white paper. Great background for the sheep. Who is this from? Oh, good point. You see, Meg Lovin. Next from Cheryl Lee. I like this because there's no words and she's floating into the sky. See that sparkly balloon? Because there's no COVID on the moon. <laughs> oh, here is a fun one. Elaine Shader, and they are really celebrating. So, oh, I know what they're doing. So they're celebrating because COVID ended. Now this, now this is, now this, now this sheep is trying to get the other sheep out. <laughs> <laughs> one big celebration and Karen Davis my, now sheep? here's a real quarantine card he's behind yeah. the fence he's fully trapped at least he has a huge barn because we can't even see the fence behind him so at least he has a huge barn we can't see the fence behind him Karen <laughs> Bochicas and look at this one he's look at he does he is really really happy he's doing a little dance he's so That's happy a wobble card oh that is it's cool yeah. Is this your favorite symbol? <laughs> yeah, and a bunch of you have the sheep. I think this has been just a really popular one. Robin Scherzer. Oh, go break it. <laughs> we had another Robin Scherzer. Yeah, we did. Starting to see some of the same names, which is really cool. And you know, there are three different sheep in this stamp set. So those are two of them. It's just fun when you see them together, just kind of I think, celebrating. I think friends. Kind of the polka dot background is. Just a nice Wait, it's like there's polka dots clouds. It's like there's polka dots yep. clouds. And Sandy Reese. Oh, another one. I think this guy looks so proud. Like he's so proud about something. He's about to escape his barn. Yeah. He's just proudly marching out. Oh, and here he is again with all the and look, he's got the party hat on. Mm -hmm. And this is Lisa Schmidt. Wait, who's the name on this one? That one was Sandy, Sandy Reese. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then, oh, we got a couple more with two of them. So this is Laura Laura Borchard. Look how this one opens. So we've seen a few that open like that. But isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So it's like they're talking together when it's closed or they're going to go celebrate together. That's how you mail it. Yep. Well, you know, you mail flat, but that's how you fold it in half and then half again. So that's cool. We keep trying to put the names. And another one with two. We're getting there, guys. Uh, we're almost to your favorite. How fun is that? We've got so, the green wait, grass so below. It's, so it's this person's. So it's um, so it's this person's birthday. Let's pretend they're on the other side of the fence, and this friend, the sheep friend, is jumping over the fence to see him because yes. it's his birthday. And this card is Jody Reinert, and we have one more, and then he can, he picked two favorites. Can I just yes? say something about mm -hmm. how bright that is with the bright, the white and the blue, and I just love yeah, it. and the then Pacific Point blue and the apple. The green, green apple, apple green, whatever, are really just fun colors. I'm not going to lie. I love this card for the name. <laughs> <laughs> he likes his business card. Now we're on to the next <laughs> thing. So I said that. 
<laughs> How cute is that? And look at this paper. He's like up in the trees. That's from the Beauty of the Earth set. And this is, we have to see whose name is on this lovely card, Michelle Hornback. And then Hank picked two cards. He couldn't pick just one. He says, I need, because one was a, a fold. And he said, I just like this because of the way the fold is. Okay. So the, so the first one that is not the fold mm -hmm. is by Kim Vogel. Mm -hmm. And look at that, pinks and grays. We were talking about that before. I love how she's colored that. I like the color that. pink on black. So, and I also just yep. like the pink in general. And it goes really nicely together. So that's really a fun he, card. He likes the message. You're amazing. You're amazing. Yes. Okay. And then this fun fold, which is by, let's see who it's by, Pat, um, Betty Sakocha. Okay. So you mail it like this, and then you pop it like that. Is that cool? And it can stand. Ooh. Here, oh. we go back to this view. Yes, because we'll get and get Grandpa in here, so we're this all will, in here. This will be on Grandma's setup now. She's gonna have a little yeah, so, thing. So it's see? gonna be sitting right here. Okay. <laughs> Give me a little. So, little okay, little scrunch there over. You. Okay. So thanks, you guys, for letting us spend a little time with you tonight. We just totally appreciate that. This was just very fun, and hope you enjoyed these ninety cards. I think I got that straight. <laughs> <laughs> but bye, and I'll come back and look at comments. Thank you so much. Have a good week, and we'll see you. Bye. On Thursday. Bye. Tim, bye. you gotta say bye. <laughs> okay, bye. bye.